Welcome back to uh, the Midwest Sports Show. I'm, I'm, I see a barrel behind us. Well, is that, is Gene, oh, I know where we are. Gene, you better roll out. <clears throat> you I better know. roll out the we're barrel. We're at Pfizer. We're at the new. We're at the new uh, Buck Stadium, right? Yeah, the Fister. Oh, is that what the they Fister call? lot? I, I, no, I don't Fister, know. Fister, that's the hotel. The haunted one. Milwaukee's got a haunted hotel. So does Oklahoma City. But uh, there, I'm all in on the box. By the way, I well, don't care. <clears throat> well, Gene, uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show, and uh, my name is Chris Dots, and uh, that is uh, Gene Steichen. Hi. And uh, yes, behind us, uh, it's a little light outside. Yeah, uh, they got the it's lights out. Up. You know, they got you. You ever see those spotlights shining up, Gene? Like yes, uh, I do. at the sky oh, sometimes. Sure. Yeah, I know what you're talking. And about. you're you're always like, man, well, what's going on over there? Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, uh, they decided to do that for us uh, at the 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 Five Star. What is this thing called? Uh, the Five Star. The, the, the uh, they should just call this stuff uh, Tax Boondoggle ar- okay. Arena. Right, right. Because they're going to oh, the, did the Oh, the people in Milwaukee paid for it. Or did the state of Wisconsin? Uh, it's it's <laughs> not good. You know who didn't pay for anything? Uh, oh. Foxconn. Yeah. That's, uh, that's they should build their own stadium. Although, By the way, uh, should you be giving a bunch of tax uh, credits to a company with con in the name? Mm. Like con? Like that one? <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, it's in the name. Right? I, I, I don't know. Hey, listen to all my friends in the Midwest. I, I know what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, Gene. <laughs> All that cup what? pants. I'm wearing my cup shirt. Hey, Gene's representing. I, I was thinking about this today. I I think I like the Bucks. I'm a, a Milwaukee fan now, as opposed to the Bulls. Bulls are a mess, but man, the Bucks are good. <laughs> Aren't you? Excited? Well, Gene, that's the benefit of uh, living in Iowa, I guess. Jeez, I can you, choose because we border pit, Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Howdy. Hi, hi, everybody in the Midwest. I would talk to you personally, but then Chris would get mad. But uh, hello, Chris and Greg and Cheryl. Yep. There you go. All right. So, Gene, you get the root for uh, I'm just all saying, the I'm giving individual shout outs. What's wrong with that? Hey, yeah. Nothing. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Gene, Gene's having like five oh, different conversations. Since I live around. in Iowa, or I mean, I grew up in Iowa, I can root for the Bucks and the Cubs. So that's not a conflict of interest. Yep. All right. Well, Gene, we're going to start, except for when uh, Michael Jordan uh, was playing, right? So Yeah, he was tough not to root for. Right. But I do like I like Giannis. Well, Gene, I think we are going to start uh, with okay. some hoops. Oh, I've been wa- – well, let me take that back. I've watched very little. Okay, I, I really haven't watched it all. But I do follow it, and I'm I'm all in. I want the Bucks to win. There, there's no question. I want. I fear the deer. I don't fear the deer. The opponent should fear the deer. I'm on deer bandwagon. Well, I, again, I've not watched one second mm-hmm. of uh, the NBA. You haven't? Uh, yeah, not not a fan of uh, free throws. Oh, All right. Not a fan yeah. of free, free throws. Uh, oh, but uh, Milwaukee's. Hey, we should just give shout outs to when it comes on. Shonda, hello. Well, I'm just. <laughs> okay. I, can I? I'll try to work it into a conversation. So, all right. Well, Gene, oh. as we record this, uh, yeah. the Bucks are up three zero. Yeah. Uh, and right now, it's uh, one hundred five to ninety in the fourth. Well, I remember. And, uh, I remember when I was talking to my friends, uh, Chris, Shonda, uh, Greg, and Cheryl. They said, "Watch out for those Bucks." I should have listened to them. I should have bet in Vegas because I got advice oh. from a whole bunch of people. Well, Gene, you know, like I said last week, uh, Larry Brown. Who? Larry Brown is not walking through oh, that door. Larry Brown, he's 80, uh, 85 years old. Ben Ben Wallace. <laughs> oh my God, he's not walking. Latrell Sprewell, yeah, Gene. yeah. Rip Hamilton, yeah. Who else? Uh, uh Bill Lambeer. Beer. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Isaiah, Tom- and Isaiah Thomas. Guess what, Gene? Said he might have started with that one. And guess what, Gene? If they oh, do, they're Ch- going to be Chuck old. Chuck Daly. And, uh, Chuck Daly. And Why you know what? Why did you use that for uh, a reference? He's, 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 that he's, coach. he's coaching the Mystics. No, he coached the Pistons for a long time. I know, but now he's coaching some WNBA team, right? Yeah, yeah. I will uh, tell you this, Le- Lisa Tarasi, she's not walking through that door, Pistons fans. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. you have no idea. I don't <laughs> – Diana Tarasi. I at least and Lair Brown, one. if he's walking – well, he would. He was old and gray back who's in the Di- day, too. But... Le- There's no Lisa Tarasi. It's Diana. Diana Tarasi. Di- I don't even know if Diana her, might be Diana Tarasi. There, isn't there a t- Tarasi? Yeah, Diana. Twins Diane. or something? All right, so 
Uh, Milwaukee's about to sweep the Pistons. And hey. what's up with Blake? Is Blake playing? Blake looks yeah, like he's, he's playing. Yeah, he's playing one. What's going on with his knee, Gene? Do you have uh, I I anything? have very low updates. But I will update you on this. I liked Milwaukee almost enough to watch him. But I, I haven't. I, although, uh, I'm all in. So, they're going to sweep Detroit, and then let's get through the West Eastern Conference. And then the and, Pistons. And I'm not scared of the, I'm not scared of Golden State. Well, first off, let's get through these. I'm not scared of Boston. I yeah, uh, as a D- Milwaukee Bucks recently converted fan. That's going to be Boston and uh, Milwaukee, right? I'll, I'll actually I think, I'll watch that series. I think Boston plays that. Milwaukee and Toronto will play. Oh, so mm-hmm. that that's the next series is Boston Milwaukee already? It might be. They got to, like, switch that around, right? Well, Toronto plays somebody as well. Wow, we're so informed. (laughs) That's why people come here. It's for the— Well, uh, Boston swept Indianapolis. And, gee, did you—weren't you telling me you were listening to the uh, Bill Simmons uh, podcast? He—okay, we should have got him on because he knows basketball better than we do. Yeah, just just go find his podcast. Yeah, uh, I I was was listening to it today, but, yeah. All right, so— There you go. That's a basketball preview. There you go. (laughs) Was that what? the most ill-informed what we even, basketball? What are we even talking about? Well, at least we know Milwaukee. The Bucks play in Milwaukee. Well, yeah, pe- pe- people know that Ben Wallace is now walking through the door. Yeah. Hey, Chuck Daly. <coughs> but and you also know their stadium. They have a new stadium, which is right behind. It's it, not the so. corn. It's not the Corn Palace anymore. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're, that's in South Dakota. <laughs> okay. I went there. Oh, I, a lot of wrestling I, events. I was driving through South Dakota. I've only been there once, and they. They they have all these signs. Oh, the Corn Palace, the Corn Palace, and there's some city, and it's a palace where performers go, and it's made of corn. Yeah, well, it's just the outside, right? Just yeah, cheaper insulation. You Pretty know? great though. Yeah. Oh, and fi- oh, this is great too. Field of Dreams came out 30 years ago. I think this last weekend, where Field of Dreams is in Dyersville, right next to my hometown. So okay. there, you go. there you go. What were you doing 30 years ago, Jim? I was watching Field of Dreams in the theater, shedding in, a in tear. In L.A.? Or were you in Iowa? No. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but but I, remember when you they, I remember when they filmed it, and it was a big deal, because Kevin Costner, I believe he stayed in Dubuque. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I'm not that informed. <laughs> All right, yeah, the one any, thing you should. Uh, do you have any college wrestling should, questions? Should I got us. that one down. Uh, well, Gene, I'll tell you what. Uh, mm. Why don't we talk to one of your favorite subjects? Oh, yeah, Cubs. The I've Chicago watched every Cubs Cubs. game. I've watched. I'll t- okay. I'll tell you what, Gene, last week this time, mm. well, last this week time, people were asleep, but. Uh, Gene, uh, things were looking pretty dire for the pretty Chicago bad. Cubs. Yeah, they they were. Yes. And uh, well, whoopsie daisy. One week later, the Brewers lose a bunch of games. Yeah. Cubs win a bunch Cubs of games. Are, St. Are, Louis is winning as, a couple games. As my friend Napoleon told me, uh, one of my great friends, uh, he said, "Do not worry. The Cubs aren't going anywhere." I should listen to him because uh, the Cubs they were two and seven, and everyone's kind of panicked, and now they're ten and ten. Yep. Look uh, out. Seven of the last ten. Yeah. Seven and even they even they even wheeled out Tyler Chatwood, who couldn't he just he just walked guys last year and he pitched yesterday. He was great. You Darvish is still very shaky. Well he had a very good game, shaky. right? Didn't he uh well, Darvish? He had one against the Marlins. Oh <laughs> he's only yeah. won one game. He's won one game each oh, yeah. I guess going seven innings against the Marlins is he not really I uh... don't even think he went seven. He might have went six. He's still really quite shaky. Alright, so who who are they playing right now? Oh, they play the Dodgers starting tomorrow, who the Brewers just yeah. played. So the yeah, the Brewers just uh, lost. I, wa- three I of actually four. watched those games. I know. That was Listen, it, it, it gets pretty annoying that I cannot watch these games on my uh, MLB subscription because quote unquote they're local games. Oh, that's right. Even though I'm trying to watch, watch uh, FS Wisconsin. Yep, yep. So yep. I have to hook my TV up, and they play each other like within one week, like those yep. two two series. Yeah, and that's gee, that's right. uh, I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of that because oh, you know these teams. Right. This is the only time the teams play, and you're gonna like bunch them all together. Yeah, like in the beginning of the season, things change, Gene. Mm. Things change. Well, uh, thank and goodness I have Spectrum. That's what I pay one hundred thirty dollars a month for, or whatever. For FS Spectrum. Wisconsin. No, no Spectrum. Then uh, you can watch the Dodger games. That's yeah. the only way. So because the Dodgers go to Wrigley Field, and by the way, the guy did the Dodgers games. He's trying to be Vince Scully. 
Oh, that young he's, guy? He's, he's, he's trying to tell even, stories about everyone Jason at bat. Bon- Maddie? I'm not sure. I don't even have any idea. But, yeah. And uh, uh, I watched the Den- Dodgers yesterday when uh, Bellinger hit Hader. But I watched a lot of Dodgers Brewers because I was scouting the Dodgers for the upcoming series. And then I was uh, scouting the Brewers. Yeah, uh, Hater. Hater gave up uh, two uh, home runs. He gave uh, up two. Well, in in uh, two separate games. Oh, I uh, see. When he was pitching, so uh, yeah, yeah. But you know what? People make mistakes, and the uh, Dodgers are trying to win the game just like everyone Man, else. That's what you got to realize. This, so. the Dodgers are pretty good. They hit yeah. a lot of home runs. And you know, if it was a three and a four game series, so that's basically seven games, right? And Dodgers yeah. would have won that well, four you, game series. You won two, so, uh, Brewers two, won two, two in two LA. Three. Yeah, and then they won three. And then three four. in the Milwaukee. In Milwaukee. It just showed you. Man, once a play, you got to make the playoff and then <laughs> worry about it later. You got to survive. You got to yeah. survive. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, Gene. Yes. You know who has to uh, make the playoffs are the umpires. Uh oh. What they do? Uh, they may hope Randall, they start to... getting assigned away from Brewers games because, Gene, I don't know if you're uh, paying attention to Brewers games. I, but I actually watched a bit of each of the games against the Dodgers. There was like three games within the period of a week mm-hmm. where the umpire I got smacked right in the face oh. uh, by a pitch. And guess who was behind the plate? Oh, Grandel. Uh, Mr. I can't believe it's not Butterfingers, Yasmani wow. Grandel. Who uh, seems to have a catching problem? Is it so? And it, seems to be. Uh, <laughs> you're, is this a conspiracy? Getting the umpires cu- concussed. Really? Those guys, those umpires, they get whacked in the head. I mean, you Darvish took out the batter, the catcher, and the umpire, but that's dangerous. So Grandel? Next I don't know. I, I I'd be a little afraid. All I can Man, say is I'd be a, a little way. afraid. Oh my gosh. Mm, not good. Yeah. 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 And these guys are trying to call balls and strikes? I, I didn't see those. Well, listen, yeah. Gene, I'm all for these uh, concussion tests uh, after getting hit in the face. But uh, yeah. how about before the game, too? Okay. All right. How about that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Maybe. How about the first inning? How that was a good series, though. I mean, there's a lot of excitement, I don't know, for April. It was, uh, it was a close uh, close yeah. series, yeah. For sure. Right. Two really good teams it battling just shows it you. out. When you get to the playoffs, oh, win. Just like the Cubs. <laughs> Cubs, the window's open. You got to win when you got a chance. Cubs, please play better. They're playing okay, but now they got the Dodgers. The Dodgers are good, but yeah, okay. I gave them enough. Dodgers credit. have a lot of good players. They're pretty good. All right, and then uh, Gene, uh, yes, uh, what's his name? Yes, El Puig. Yes, El Puig. He came back to L.A. Yes, Manny Grandel. He yes, got El run Puig. out of town. They both got ran out of town. Well, Gene, he uh, he came back into town. Yeah. Against the Dodgers mm-hmm. and uh, homered off Kershaw. Yes, his first at bat. And uh, Puig was quoted saying, "That's one of the most beautiful things I have with my new team." He said in Spanish. Mm. He only been in the league five years, still uh, still using Spanish at the PR. Well, hey, uh, speaking of Spanish, you Darvish no longer uses a translator. He could speak English pretty well anyway, but he always uses a translator. So. There you go. Yep. I didn't know Yeso would still use the translator. All right, this support and to be to be by each other's side every day and talk in the locker room, on the bus, on the flight, on the field, off the field. We always have a good communication. That what makes me not feel so as much nostalgia as you might think as I would feel for the Dodgers. Gene, <laughs> <laughs> wow, lay it on him, give it Puig, to him. I'll tell you, Gene. Puig. I uh, I like this guy more and more every time he opens his mouth. Oh my gosh. As long as he actually doesn't do any damage against the Brewers when he's that bad. I wonder if he's getting his house. Remember when he was living in L.A., his house got robbed two or three times, I think, last season. Yeah. yeah. Well, just leave out a little plate of meth outside your doorstep, uh, Puig. And hey, uh, that's all they that, want. How right about but L.A. to Cincinnati? Uh, no. Well, nah, that's a big drop. That's Okay, that's a big drop. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, and then, Gene, uh, some other just kind of odds and ends. Uh, okay. Did you know this? People that live in Iowa. Oh, and this sus- has got to be a good story. And subscribe to MLB.tv. Which or, I do. Are blacked out of 35% of all regular season MLB games this year. Oh. And there isn't even a team. It's because, what, you get the, the, you get the Cubs games, yeah. you get the St. Louis games, and blah, blah, blah. So all oh. these local games. That's what when I was when I was in uh, the Midwest. Even though I was in Iowa, I couldn't get the uh, Cubs game. 
on the MLB package. On your phone? Yeah, yeah, because it was in the Cubs' territory. Can we just uh, – Their territory is pretty big. I would just pay like, 50 – Make a decision. I would just give – I'll pay you an extra 50 bucks and just let me see it whenever I fucking want. How about that? Ooh. Huh? Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not subscribed and to it, uh, and, a Hudson bumfuck cable <laughs> system. Well, in, in, in L.A. In, da- in Derry, Illinois. All okay? right. In L.A., you can have direct TV and you can't get Dodger games. You have to have Spectrum Cable, which is a complete ripoff. Yeah. Although I have it, so no offense, yep. Spectrum. Hey, it's, yeah, okay. All right. I didn't know so, that. That's a good stat. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sad, pretty sad. Yeah. The, uh, again, Middle America, mm. who's looking out for you? We are. Not the MLB. The Midwest uh, Sports Show, that's oh, who. Oh, okay, we are. All right, on Gene, uh, we're going to move over to uh, football. I got Very some o- odds and ends for yeah. football this week. Uh, richest man in football these days, Russell Wilson, mm. signed that new contract. Well, uh, he's uh, feeling very generous, and uh, reports are that he gifted $12,000 in Amazon stock to each of his old line That's offensive amazing. linemen. That could be – that. It's not going to be worthless. That could be millions, wouldn't it? Yeah, that could uh, turn to a lot of money. Can you buy Amazon stock? Or yeah, anyway? it, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a, you can buy it anytime. It's like $300, right? Or $500. Oh, is that what it is? Something oh. like that. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, change. Well, Gene, uh, what isn't that reported is that uh, he just transferred the uh, stock from one corporation to the other. And uh, paid himself a nice uh, broker. Uh, oh, I so see. Uh, Russell Wilson is not dumb, Gene. <laughs> He's not just giving out uh, stock. And by the way, did you see the uh, Seattle uh, Seahawks uh, offensive line? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're going to give them a uh, outperforming stock that makes uh, 20% every year? See, yeah. I don't think so. There's something. Uh, <laughs> by the way, who reports this stuff anyway? I don't know. Yeah. Well, what's the news source here? Sierra? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. This guy's gee, this guy's a, this guy's a psychopath, dude. <laughs> well, Russell Wilson, A Rod just gives out uh, yeah. ARVs. I as as popular, well, he's, I mean, he's not really nationally popular, maybe, but man, he he gets a lot of grief, right? <laughs> yeah, Russell he's a Wilson. psychopath. Yeah, psychopath. Would you would you make him the uh, highest paid uh, quarterback no. in the NFL? Well, he's only going to have it for one year till the Bears have to pay uh, pony up to their guy. So what, so what was it? Eighty? It's what like a seventy-three? Thirty-five million a year, right? Yeah, like a seventy-three million dollars signing so bonus Aaron or whatever. So Aaron Rodgers' contract's already outdated. So five hundred thousand dollars per interception per season. Is that what you're telling yeah. me? Yeah. Good luck with that, Seattle. <clears throat> All right. Mm. And uh, Gene, uh, some sad news oh, uh, no, from I, the I Bears. Don't know what happened with the Bears? Uh, Zach Miller. The oh, talented tight end yeah. who uh, – I never did watch that play when he got it. Did you ever watch that? No, nah, no. Nah, I I'm, never – I didn't see it that. the day it happened, and I've never seen it well, since. Well, he, so. he broke his leg uh, yeah. catching a <laughs> touchdown. Hopefully I can go through the rest of my life without having to see that play. Yeah, and uh, pretty gruesome right. apparently, and uh, he was optimistic that he'd be able to play, but uh, he's not going to be able to play. And he announced his retirement, so God bless. Yeah. Hopefully the Bears can do the he'll right be thing. He'll be there. Yeah, he'll be there opening night with me, I think. <laughs> All right, and then some other Bears news. There will f- they will face the Oakland Raiders on Sunday, October 6th, in the new Tottenham, Tottenham. Hotspur Hot Stadium they're, in They're an EPL team. I know that much. The they first beat- NFL game they played at the newly constructed sta- stadium. I think Tottenham beat Man U. Oh boy! I mean, uh, this I, I'm not great at this, but they might have beat Man U four to nothing, which is the biggest loss Man U's ever had to Tottenham, possibly. Well, Gene, you could be I may be way you can be forgiven. That. This is the Midwest Sports Show, not oh, the okay, that mid not, Midwestern, not, not the round ball uh, it, idiots. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, Gene. Uh, the, the the stadium in uh, uh, old cheery Northern England, cheery yeah. old or Northern England, probably way better grass than Soldier Field. I'm oh guessing, my gosh. right? Yeah. Hopefully they're not using it for youth soccer. So Tottenham, because they always play at Wembley, so this will be the first game at Tottenham. Is Tottenham pretty- like a city? 
Oh, it's in England. It's by like Manchester or something? Could be. They're in the same <laughs> EPL team. I don't know. There's 16 teams. They're going to be there and be like, why can't we have grass like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my well, gosh, the Bears. They don't have uh, little kids' uh, flag football games on the, uh, the Saturday ba- morning. Who plays? How many teams play for a, the park district? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> they, that, 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 I, well, gee, you just got to sign your name up uh, the Bears, on the flyer at the door. Yeah, they don't Week even. Before. They don't even own their own stadium. They have to rent out. Uh, the they have to set aside the eight Sundays a year when they play there. Bring your own orange cones. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's like they go to all day. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, and then Gene. Uh, finally, the uh, NFL schedule. I was very excited. Did you watch Came it right out. when it happened? <laughs> no. No, because no. you got jump on it. Because I'm going. I had to get rooms. Because I'm going to Green Bay. All right, so Gene, what what what? I, did you notice? What was your... Uh... Oh, I loved it. Oh, I, I was glad that I get to go because when I'm going to be back there uh, to see Iowa play, that... Well, the, the number one thing I took away from it was the Motel 6 in Green Bay, which is a complete dump, which I've stayed at. By It's a couple miles from the stadium. The, yeah, it that's the weekend they charge $200 uh, dollars a night for their rooms. So there you go. Which I'm not staying at. All right, should we yeah. go through uh, each I'm, week? I'm going, to, I'm going to three games. So far, three games. Oh, also, the Packers are at uh, Chargers at the StubHub Center. And tickets, are, I think the cheapest ticket I saw is 450 Not good. Mm, all right. All right. Well, yeah. Gene, the season begins with uh, Green Bay at Chicago. And I'm going to be at that game. Although tickets 100%. are still. Yeah. Uh, well, tickets are still around with fees about four hundred dollars so i'm gonna wait till it drops a little bit hopefully all right detroit plays arizona also mm, so yeah. arizona, are they gonna get rid of uh, josh rosen or whatever this kid that guy yeah they got? we'll find out thursday i thought he, he beat the packers why what, what are they yeah, trying to do here what the hell well they're they're gonna find out thursday who's okay. the uh, minnesota plays atlanta yeah. mm-hmm. all right gene i don't know is it, is it worth going through this thing no. any, any? <laughs> i know i know week three uh, Denver's at Green Bay. I'm going to be at that. I'm going to be at opening night, and then the Denver at Green Bay game, and then the Monday night game, Detroit the, at uh, the Packers. The NFL Central plays the. Uh, I'm sorry, the NFL North plays the East, right? The yeah. NFC East. So Bears going to have a Dallas, really tough schedule. Giants. Yeah. Redskins. I wonder if Alex Smith will be back by that time. And then uh, what's the other uh, East team? Oh, uh, uh, and, oh yeah, the Eagles. So yeah. Wentz. Oh, how about this? Uh, Donovan McNabb oh. talking shit about uh, Carson Wentz. He had a, he had, mm, I don't like it. I do not like that. That's that, why, why is he vomiting all over the yeah, uh, Carson, situation? D- Donovan McNabb doesn't. He just saying stuff because he can't get a job because he got fired from all his jobs. Did he get fired from the NFL Network for I like so. uh, playing grab ass? Oh, I don't think he was part of that. He got fired from ESPN and I believe Fox oh, okay. as well. Yeah. All right. Hitting the bottle a little too hard. All right. Unfortunately. So there you go. Some uh, NFL. Pretty exciting though. So I'm going to go. This will be the most game. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm going to go three. I'd like to uh, go want... to the the, the, the StubHub Center too. And the Bears come to the Coliseum as well this year. Okay. So there you go. Oh, you gonna, so you're going to go to that game? I don't, I don't know. So what, they play Oakland then or they play the oh, Rams? Oh, I thought they played at the Rams. I might be wrong. Because they played mind. the West last year, right? So is that just because of their yeah. – oh, because they're first in the NFC North, right? Yeah. Maybe. All right. <laughs> I'm, I, okay. Once again, I'm guessing. All right. Here we go. Gene, uh, Colts owner – so this is uh, late-breaking news apparently, but Colts oh. owner Jim Ursray. He bought John Ursay. Lennon's piano. Just bought John Lennon's there, piano. Oh, oh, I there you go. For more than seven hundred thousand dollars. He's a big music guy, uh, Jim Mersey. Yep. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, transactions not complete quite yet. Uh, he tried to pay it with a uh, a bunch of cash and a pillowcase full of oxycotton. <laughs> Apparently, Southern's bees does not uh, take payments by the milligram. Oh. Uh, he so uh, he's, he, he just needs 24 hours to convert to cash. Right, so right. Uh, if you're in the uh, streets of uh, London and uh, <laughs> yeah, need a hit, all right, it's going to a worthy you cause. Don't, you don't believe that he's cleaned up his act at all? Or <laughs> just gonna oh yeah, I'm sure. That's what, that's what that's what that's what happens, right, Gene? I don't. Know. Some people change. You know, it's possible. Yeah. All right, and uh, was there anything else? Or, uh, oh. I love the NFL schedule, but uh, uh, 
I don't know. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a great, oh, I hope it's going to be a great year. <clears throat> Tickets are expensive, though. Not, that's the thing. If you're a season ticket holder, hold on to your tickets because when you just like the Bears, a lot of people gave up on them, but now they're good. Those tickets are worth a lot now. You just sell them individually. That's the thing with these sports teams. All you got to do is just draft one player. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I mean, too bad bad it's not Mitch Trubisky. I mean, another player. Oh, Trubisky. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. (laughs) And the Bears still don't have a kicker, but they'll figure it out. All right. Well, Gene, uh, we did talk about the uh, Tiger Wood winning the Masters. That guy. Last week. Yeah. And uh, what we did not talk about. I know. That is guy. Is a better. And he's. Who bet $200, I think, or. 85000 85000 I think, it, on 200 put, to one uh, odds, he put right? It, uh, 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 yeah, he bought a, a backpack at Walmart and put the cash in there. He took cash to Vegas. On a plane? Yeah, I guess wow. so. Well, uh, you know, I, I had seen that story, but then I didn't really pay too much attention right, to it. Right, Because right. uh, this ain't. Uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, lock it in. <laughs> the same locking in, Gene. We're not. We're not talking you, about gambling you're stories. You're not cousin Sal. Yeah, I'm not. You're not uh, Clay Travis. Is that his oh, name? That's right. Yeah, I've only watched the show once. Okay, it's Clay All Travis right. and cousin Sal. Gene, and you, then, you got Spectrum so. for that? Yeah, it is on Spectrum. It's on ch- for Channel 400. Yep. Yeah, right. Fox Sports. A lot of commercials, I bet. Right, a lot. Of yeah, commercials. yeah. Well, anyways, apparently that guy we saw, we found yeah. more about him. He's from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Oh, I didn't. I I just. Oh, I heard him. So ESPN Chicago interviewed him, and they said Chicago, but I never. Oh, La Crosse. So he actually lives in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Wow. And that was kind of a small world. That's your wow, your hometown. Yes, but I uh, he's like thirty eight. He's around my age, yeah. and uh, I do not I do not know him, so I don't think he's from. I don't think he went to high school well, there. So I'll he, tell he you, probably is from Chicago and then moved there. You have a lot better uh, record than he does, right? Well, uh, yeah. Then uh, as as it does happen, anytime uh, something goes to you and your name comes out in the media, uh, everyone goes digging into your background, Gene. <laughs> oh man. They nailed this guy. What, what yeah. really is going on? And apparently right. he's got a bunch of domestic violence uh, oh my arrest. OVI. Oh, is Wisconsin OVI operating? OWI. While, oh, OWI operating while intoxicated. He's got those. I think he spent 30 days in jail for that. Yeah. Or something like that. So, uh, yeah, Gene. He's, he's kind of defensive he's, about he's it, just, too. He's just trying to be like Tiger Woods, Gene. Right. You know, it's right. his favorite oh, golfer. Yeah. But he... He never. That was his first bet, and he's walking around with eighty five thousand. Yeah, that's uh, not a smart move, Gene. Especially betting on Tiger Woods, who well, uh, needs I mean, two hours to get his back in writing for for a match. Yeah, in most casinos, I didn't know that they they have limits. I I, I knew that, but the limit was ten thousand. But William Hill took his bet. I would take that bet for sure. Eighty five thousand. Yeah, because Tiger. Who, who would have thought Tiger Woods would have yeah. won the Masters this mm-hmm. year? Mm-mm. I take that bet. Yeah, wow, lacrosse guy, and he's out there breaking the lacrosse. <laughs> he's kept the lacrosse sheriff's department pretty busy. A lot of uh, a lot of crime going on lacrosse these lacrosse days. Lacrosse is pretty know. safe, isn't it, for the most uh, part? <laughs> oh, you guys got. I know, Gene. I uh, maybe I just go uh, read the wrong stories in Lacrosse yeah. Tribune, or maybe well, they had, just don't print uh, good stories Dubuque, anymore. It was we had the railroad tracks down by the river, and people say, "Oh, don't go below the tracks. That's where trouble." <laughs> All those river people, the ones <laughs> below the tracks. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what, Gina, these old local newspapers, all they do is uh, reminisce about stuff like 60 years ago, or they talk about crime or obituaries. Yeah. That's pretty much it. What do you, Lacrosse, there's still uh, Lacrosse, what is La it? Lacrosse called? Tribune. Okay, because Dubuque, Dubuque Telegraph Peril, which I try to read online, but you only get three articles a month or two, whatever it is, Yikes. and then, then you have to pay. Gene, uh, c- uh, cough it up. Support the local hey, economy. Hey, Dubuque Fighting Saints are in a tussle with Muskegon uh, in USHL hockey. I don't know. All They're right. down two games to none, I think. All right, well, Gene, what's on uh, what's on the docket? Are you it is any, very any Cubs exciting. series uh, coming up? I'm, going? I'm really yeah. I'm going to watch all. That. I've watched every Cub game so far. Uh, the the Dodgers come to uh, Cubby Town, and then the Cubs go on the road. They go to Arizona, where I was uh, a few weeks ago. So I'm not going to drive back to Phoenix, but if it's a playoff game, I go. But yeah, they go back on the road. They're playing better, I hope. 
Chris Bryant still only got one home run. It was the opening day when I was there, so maybe oh, really? step it up. Yeah. Wow. He's their four hundred million dollar man. Some some back to the uh, the minus. So. Mm, no, no. Oh, and then I'm going to fiddle on the rope Sunday. Very excited about that. All right, just time for Passover. Yeah. All right. And then the, the Brewers. Oh, and Avengers opens Friday. Yeah. Very excited. You're excited about that one. Oh yeah, you? I love those comic book movies. No, James. but this is different. Oh yeah. Avengers, three hours long. Three hours yeah. and two minutes. Let, 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 Gene, a lot of stuff blows up. You got guys shooting lasers from their eyes. Yeah. A lot, a lot of that stuff for three hours. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Everybody's got Avengers. Do you know that, <laughs> that? So our theater on Sunset, where I just was today, Arclight Theater, they're showing Avengers starting Thursday night. It's going all night. So they have a 3 a.m. showing, and then they're going to take a little break, and the next showing's at 7 a.m. No, there that's like, not a break because it's three hours. Is there like an old school intermission like back in the day? Like I don't know. With the wind? That's long. Three hours and two minutes. Oh, yeah, uh, Quentin Tarantino did that on The Hateful Eight. He had an intermission. Those are back in the good old days when you could actually grab a drink. Yeah. At the bar. Mm. Too. All right. So then the Brewers are playing St. Louis for it looks like four games here. Oh, no, I'm do. sorry. Three games. And then they go to uh, New York to play the Mets, so hopefully uh, yeah. they bounce back against the Mets. Brewers are good. I watch a lot of Brewers. Man, Chris and Yelich. Mm. Yep, he's got 14 home runs. Pretty, uh, That's pretty crazy. amazing. Pretty crazy. He's got so. 14, and Chris Bryant's got one. Well, so who oh. would you rather have? Uh, yeah. Great, I, I, great I, question. Yeah, well, Chris Bryant, he's a Cub. I saw him play in the minors, and I saw him win the World Series, so I'll stick with Chris Bryant. Love him. That's very uh, nice. All right. Well, Gene, uh, yes. we're just puttering around here. So okay. I think. Uh, hey, by the way, for time. everyone in the Midwest, I think winter's almost over. Maybe one more snowstorm, and then you'll be all good to go. Right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, they s- didn't some see warm that weather snow- when you're They didn't away. see that snowstorm coming a week ago. So. Yeah, that uh, that is true. So, yeah. well, I'll tell you what, Gene. We are going to end it right there. Bye, everybody. So Thank for you really Gene much. Stacken, and my name is my mom and Lo. Mom and Lo are both walking around with canes. All right. So we'll see you guys next week. That was good. It was good.